Hello, oh, welcome back to another video today. I'm going to be showing you this Soviet crew destroyer. So to find it, you go to ships, destroyer, Soviet Union, and the cash, 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 I don't know. Anyway, so here up front, we can hold the SN9s, which are decent. Anti-air missiles, definitely not the best. And anti-missile missiles, you can see their stats here. And we scroll on down here to the back, we can hold basalt sandbox missiles, which are good anti-ship missiles. I really like these. And then here in the back, we can hold more of the uh, decent anti-air missiles. So here we go, we're going to go spawn that crop, remember we can select like civilian air base or carrier, and they go to different areas. Well, mostly different areas. So over here, we're going to go to crop fort. There we go, and once you deploy, remember when hitting Q and E to rotate the spawn and arrow keys to move around the camera, but you have to shake around your uh, mouse or else it won't actually update to the new rotation. Q for flares, zero for combat mode. Look at all this smoke produced by the ship. That's a nice model to it. You can set your speed here Passive sonar is just kind of listening. Active sonar is pinging, then listening for the ping's return. Scuttle just means you're in your ship's existence. And, well, actually, this isn't speed. Sorry, you, this is speed. So that should go to 10 knots, but I'm actually going to set it to 35. And then this elevation is actually for the guns. So if you see here, when I fire, they kind of go up like that. Now, and I'll say one, it won't actually elevate all the way. But if I remove that, they will be able to go up. See? There we go. Uh, now for the torpedoes, you can be, they might be tracking. I don't know about these specifically, but it doesn't hurt to try. Remember, you have to like either hit left click, which targets the thing closest to your mouse. Uh, in this case, it's Ryan and Oliver Hazard Perry. And then you can fire things like the basalt, which are anti-ships. Uh, as you see, as has seawiz, so make sure to get past that any way possible. Then you should see that Wi-Fi don't use anti-air. I remember to select it here so it won't actually select the wrong kind of missile. But as you see, the seawiz here is kind of spawn camping my missiles. But now that I got it through should be able to get a few hits off. There we go. That's why I like them. Because they're powerful. Even if you don't hit all of them. They will definitely do damage. But as you see. That's how we got ended. And then you can always fire the torpedoes. And the uh, little things here. But if you're in an airplane. You can fire the other kind of missiles. And they'll go after them. But they can stop them with flares. Flares on the boats just do this. To uh, show people where you are. So they don't actually do much. The only thing you can do is hit M for a noisemaker. So then that's for torpedoes, and you'll see a little red box for tracking torpedoes. But, hope you enjoyed. See you next time. Bye.